In this JavaView online training video, I will consider how to do secondary structure predictions of proteins in JavaView. The prediction is performed using the JPRED server at the University of Dundee. For more information, I recommend visiting the JPRED website and reading their research papers. For this demonstration, I will import a group of sequences that have already been aligned. The URL is shown on the screen and is in the notes below. JPRED is run by going to the Web Service drop-down menu and selecting Secondary Structure Prediction, JPRED Secondary Structure Prediction. There are two ways that JPRED prediction can be executed. JPRED can make a prediction from a single sequence or from a pre-aligned set of sequences. When predicting from a single sequence, JPRED uses the Cyblast to search the Uniprot database and build a multiple alignment. Predictions made after a Cyblast search are usually more accurate but take longer to calculate. If a specific sequence is selected when JPRED is launched, a full JPRED prediction is executed. This involves a Cyblast sequence database search and an alignment profile generated to find similar sequences. JPRED then uses the Cyblast alignment profile to perform the secondary structure prediction. A status window opens reporting the progress of a job. It can take several minutes. Upon completion, a new alignment window opens with the JPRED prediction results visible in the annotation panel. Note the number of sequences in the result window is much larger than the original alignment. It is recommended to view the alignment to check the side blast alignment is meaningful. If no sequence is selected and the sequences are aligned, then JPRED will not perform the side blast step. Instead, it uses the current alignment as a profile to perform the secondary structure prediction. And JPRED will use the first sequence in the alignment for its prediction. Upon completion, a new alignment window opens. The number of sequences in this window match the number of sequences in the original alignment. Let us take a closer look at the JPRED annotations. The consensus JPRED prediction is displayed in a row called JNetPRED. The helices are represented as red tubes and the strands are represented as green arrows. The confident estimates for the prediction is displayed in the JNet conf row. Higher values mean higher confidence in the accuracy of the prediction. The consensus JPRED prediction is generated from several outputs, such as the HMM and the PSSM profile-based predictions. Their results are shown on the JNet HMM and the JNet PSSM annotation rows respectively. The JNet jury annotation row marks where all profile prediction outputs disagree. Lupus 21, Lupus 14 and Lupus 28 annotation rows predict the presence of coil coals. The JNet burial annotation predicts solvent accessibility levels. Let us compare our two results. In the second prediction window, I will highlight the sequence that was used to generate the first full JPRED prediction that involved the Cyblast step. Back in the first prediction window, I will copy this sequence using the control or command C. And I will paste the sequence onto the alignment window of the second prediction using control or command V. The annotation associated with this sequence has also been copied across and I have both predictions in a single window. The sequence that I copied isn't aligned relative to this alignment. I will do this by adding some gaps into the sequence using the mouse and the shift key. The annotation panel is looking quite busy so I will hide some of the annotation rows. If you're not sure which annotation row is associated with which prediction, then hovering the mouse over the annotation brings up a tooltip with the name of the associated sequence. Now we can easily compare the results from both predictions. Secondary structure prediction is very dependent on the diversity of the sequences and the quality of the alignment. For this reason, using Cyblast to generate the alignment profile typically improves the secondary structure prediction. The JPRED secondary structure prediction can be performed on a subsection of the alignment if the alignment is aligned. JPRED uses this selection as the profile to perform the secondary structure prediction. The first sequence in the set will be used for the JPRED prediction. If columns or part of the alignment is hidden, they will be excluded from the alignment that is sent to the JPRED service. The prediction results from the service will be mapped back onto the visible part of the sequence to ensure a single frame of reference is maintained. I can view all the predictions in the original alignment window. 
First I go to the original alignment, select all the sequences, then right click the mouse to open the context menu. Go to selection and select the add reference annotation option. All the JPEG prediction results for the sequences are now visible in the original alignment. The JPEG prediction can be used to color the alignment by going to the color menu, select color by annotation and select the annotation required. If the 3D structure is known for one of the proteins in the alignment, then JPEG can be used to colour the structure. For more information, please look at our user manual on the Jalview website at www.jalview.org. Goodbye!